I just started playing for the fun of it and I just started working on my game really hard because I wanted to. It wasn't because I had some big end goal in mind and I think I kind of unknowingly tapped into a good key for anyone who's trying to get better is like it's okay to have your lofty goal but you need to zero in on what you can do every single day to like slowly make steps toward that goal and you kind of need to forget about a specific timeline. Uh, my name's Holland Handley and I'm from Grapevine, Texas. I've been playing sports since I was four years old. Mom kind of let me do whatever I wanted to try. She would let me try it. When she was growing up, she moved around a lot and she didn't always get to try the stuff that she really wanted to do. I think she just really wanted to give me the opportunities that she didn't have. From a young age, I was kind of steered toward, you know, you're a creative but like smart person. So like, you know, math, science, engineering, that was kind of where I was gonna end up. And so as I got older, I saw sports as like, as an outlet and as a means to like, do stuff in college and you know potentially get some money for college and that sort of thing but kind of the goal was always to be an engineer. After I graduated college we moved out to California my boyfriend and I. We were kind of playing around with some different hobbies because at that point I didn't really have a sport. We tried all this different stuff and nothing really stuck. My boyfriend suggests that we go try disc golf and it was just addicting. It was very therapeutic, it was almost like freeing, it was nice to get outside. Every week was like a new round and you could go and you could try to beat what you did last weekend. It was a way to kind of find a part of myself that I kind of thought I lost, that part that just loves something for the sake of it, not chasing a paycheck. So I started playing end of 2019. I played my first tournament right before COVID hit in 2020. When stuff started finally opening up again, I was just dying to compete. I was still playing, you know, amateur at that point, and so I just started playing every amateur tournament that I could. I just started steadily getting better. It kind of got to a point where I should probably move up to FPO. I was starting to get some 900 rated rounds in there. That was kind of the turning point where I saw I could get good at this, like I could compete at this level. What I like about Discraft is they understand that I want to be an athlete first. Discraft's been on my radar since day one. I mean, I started playing around the time Paul moved over to Discraft, so that was all of the news. But really, it was befriending Paige and Missy and seeing how much fun they have, but how focused they are. I think the team dynamic's gonna very much be like an iron sharpens iron kind of situation. So we can support each other, but at the same time, I'm being placed in an environment with players who've been at the top of the game for a decade and I'm excited for the things I can kind of learn from them and what that can mean for my own game. It's kind of like there's, there's this idea of being a big fish in a small pond and that if you move over into a bigger pond, now you're a small fish in a big pond. And then there's this other analogy I've heard with it of like, actually, if you take a small fish and you, you put them in a bigger pond with better resources, other bigger fish to learn from, that fish grows. And so for me, I think being in this environment is gonna do wonders for my game, for me myself as a person.